Hello everyone, stay tuned at the end of this video for an important Boater Cook Something announcement. But first, enjoy all the times over the past 32 episodes that I told you to wash your hands. And don't forget, um, you did wash your hands. A very important thing uh, that I only mentioned once last episode, but really anytime you touch the meat, not just before or after using the spices, always wash your hands. It was especially important with the chicken before, but any raw meat can be really icky and disgusting and really, really unhealthy. So, um, wash your hands. Washing hands. Washing the hands. Go ahead and just after you've washed your hand, and then wash your hand afterward. Just because I'm going to get in trouble otherwise, when working with me, wash your hands. I'm not going to keep saying it, just you should know this by now, because I got yelled at by my sister, my little sister. It's embarrassing. Remember to wash your hands when handling the chicken, otherwise she's going to yell at everyone involved. That's a fact. Washing the hands. Washing the hands. We're too cheerful for this. Washing the hands. We all know, of course, to do it with meat, but uh, when you're done handling egg, you'll be washing your hands as well. And wash hands. You're gonna have to leave for a second. I need to blow my nose and then wash hands. Two start starters. One for your rice. One for the multitasking. I will have very chickeny, very gross hands, and assistant with clean hands, hopefully, so that just in case you don't add enough of your Italian seasoning, you can have them add more. And now, I wash my hands. As soon as you're done with your hot peppers, wash your hands, even if you're like, oh, you know, it's gonna be fine. Somehow it's gonna find its way up a nail or something. I still don't have a catchphrase. Good enough. Wash your hands, check your pasta. And then what's next? Washing the hands! Washing the hands, that's what's next. Waiting for this to heat up, you'll start to smell it, it'll start to actually cook. And it's on medium heat right now. Once it actually hits... The internet meme thing's especially important, I feel. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I itch my eye. I mean, you're cheap enough that you could buy a new one every time, but that seems kind of wasteful. Thank you so much. I'm going to wash my hands because I'm going to... Cool. Hey. Chop up some spices out of the way. Camera wants to see. Camera wants to see this work of art that we've created. All right, now that we've yes. engaged in that self-indulgent silliness, is it uh, time to head to the oven? Yes, it is. All right. Guest episodes have so much more footage to go through. <laughs> clean up is important. If you drop anything, right here. We could do the whole clean as you go thing, but <laughs> who really does that? Well, ah, so. We are washing our hands back here because we're going to be using that hand. And That's the one downside. Really down is right once you've got your cake mixture put together. The best results to getting the balls rolled is, generally speaking, with your bare hands. Okay, so, hi everyone, it's Boater, uh, at Boater Bug, and all of us here at Boater Cook Something, which is me and Steph. Um, and this is a time that is scary, and there's a lot of, like, things going on, and frankly, I'm home a lot more. And it always kind of bugged me that season three of Boater Cook Something stopped after eight episodes. And so, there will be four more Boater Cook Something episodes. It's been over four years since I've shot one of these. It's been a long time. Um, but we are ready to shoot four more episodes, four more recipes of varying complexity. Frankly, I just kind of want to round things out. But I've learned a few more recipes in the meantime, and I am excited to bring them to you. So, stay tuned right here, youtube.com slash boaterbug or boatercooksomething over on Facebook. Every Wednesday right here at YouTube, there will be a new episode as long as I've got it filmed and edited in time. It might skip a week or so. Who knows? Uh, so keep an eye. Again, facebook.com slash boatercooksomething uh, or right here, youtube.com slash boaterbug for more episodes of Butter Cook Something. And I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you on Wednesdays. That got sassy. You can't see it, but this is sassy.